Ether, do an intro. Do an intro. The Hello, wall. everybody. This is Ether. Thanks. That's good. Yeah, enough. That's good just, enough. Sorry, I interrupted that. That's fine. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to use that for your editing, aren't you? Stop. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back in Hermitcraft. It is a lovely Saturday morning. I'm recording. You'll be seeing this on Sunday, so happy, happy Sunday morning to you, if that's a thing. Um, oh, I just love this grass. I really like the green grass. I don't know if you guys feel the same, um, but I think it's way better than that muddy, gross green from before. It's really nice and bright. I like it. Also... When I asked about the bridge thing here, and you guys were like, hey, uh, you know, I was like, well, should I keep the fences underneath? You all said yes, and then I just assumed you would say no, and I removed them. <laughs> so now I have to go put them all back. Uh, but I took somebody's suggestion to use mossy cobble uh, in the water, which I think looks good. And yeah, I like that so far. So I'm going to put all the fences back, but not right now. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know if you see that while I'm running around, while I'm not working on the bridge, like... Uh, I haven't ignored your comments. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put them back. Okay, guys. So I've made um, a little bit of progress on the on the tree farm here. I think she's, um, she's coming along quite nice. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, it's looking quite, quite scrumptious. I do say so myself. So I got these paths all good. We we ended up going with jungle leaves, which I think looks great. Um, and then uh, this bit here is pretty much good, but I've got to clean up like parts like this. Like I don't mind the, you know, I don't mind the cavey look. So I actually don't even mind this big open spot. I think it's going to look good. Um, but I wanted to put some vines down to help them to start spread. Spreading, you know, and then we can... Uh, get them later, get more later from them after they spread. Uh, let's put this one here and see if it'll drop down. Um, so yeah, those vines will start to spread around, which will be cool, and this place will start to look all jungly. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna first have birch, and then after birch we'll do... I think birch I'm gonna use the most, and then... Should I do oak? I mean, birch, birch, uh, then oak, then spruce. I don't actually care about the jungle wood being here. If I've got room, I'll plant a couple trees, but I'm really not that bothered with it. I'm really not uh, too big on it. So today, though, we're going to work on something that um, I, I had planned for a while, and I did a lot of research into uh, how I wanted to do it, and then I found out that the way I was gonna do it was, well, I wanna I wanna help get get more eggs going to make more chickens for, a, um, a better meat source, uh, to be able to make some cake, um, and also just to have a lot of chickens because, why not? All right, just wanna have a lot of chickens. Oh, what the heck's going on over here? What the what the hell? Somebody put boats all in my cafe. What the heck is this? This is for stealing our jungle leaves. We heard you like boats. Oh, I'll show you why this is here. Hey, I don't even mind. Oh, they don't stack. Yes, I do. If they stacked, I wouldn't care. I don't want to break my windows. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, it's not so bad. <clears throat> they even put like some up here. What the heck? This is this is from Josh. Josh did this. Or Steve, but I'm guessing Josh. Oh, come on. Can't get that one out of there. Oh crap. I broke see look what I've done. Broken my window. I don't need these boats. I'll put a couple in here. I'm gonna throw these ones over here. Throw them out of here. Oh, flipping heck, there's a bunch here. 
Let's put this wood back. I have broken windows all over the joint. Do I have windows in one of these chests, maybe? Maybe. Mm, nope. Oh well, I'll fix it later. So, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and make a big chicken pit. Um, and the reason I want to just do a pit is because upon further research, which means just asking the other hermit crafters, I was told that if I do the cool one where it's like they're they're swimming a lot in the water and then, you know, you go underneath and they drop the eggs, that it would lag a whole bunch. That's what that's what they told me. So I don't want lag um, over here, especially not with you know recording and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's uh, <clears throat> let's have a look here. I was wondering if I should do it in here, right? Or I mean, because this is going to be too crowded and loud. We want a chicken pit that's going to be far away. And then I need to start separating these sheep because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Like, have a look at them. It's a bit crazy. So I say we make a a chicken pit. Chicken pit. Now the only now the only problem. Picking where to. Where to make you chicken pit? Well, I already have this little spawner down here. So I guess if you're down near chicken pit you'd also be getting some mobs for xp so there's that could make it down here for that it's pretty far down yeah sorry about that ladies and gentlemen i have another question for you guys what do you guys think about the iphone 5 i just got it just got the iphone 5 and uh before everyone gets mad because i know a lot of gamers and stuff are like very android oriented um oh this is gonna be loud too I'm going to put the chicken pit over here, I think. Yeah, before everyone gets real mad, uh, basically, I got the iPhone 5 uh, for a reason. I had an Android phone. Okay, I had um, the Galaxy S2. Great phone, by the way, especially if you mod it, like uh, you root it and stuff. Like, I rooted my S2, uh, and that just means, like, you have full control over it. And, um, yeah, basically, I had... Uh, a lot of um, freedom with it. It was really cool. You never had any security. You could just put music and files wherever you wanted, and you know it didn't matter. But I just I I went from my iPhone to my Galaxy S2, and I missed I missed the, some of the stuff that the iPhone had to offer. You know, for one, the compatibility with all my friends. You know, music docs and stuff like that was a big thing. Not being able to have that option anymore, and um. You know, I, I also really like the look of it. Uh, just the really slick looking. And the new 5 is no exception. It's really, really nice. I got it in white because, well, I was thinking about white and then I wasn't sure when I went in there. And then as soon as I go in there, they say, oh, well, we don't have black left. So I was like, okay, well, white it is. No big deal. Um, because, like I said, I was, un I was indecisive as to the color anyways. <sighs> With these flipping boats. Yeah, so I went with the white, white one. I think it's uh, pretty sick so far. Using it, holding it, it's very light. Um, does anyone out there, any of you guys have it? Let me know what you think. I think it's really, really cool and uh, happy to use it. Been installing apps like a madman lately. You know, to, uh, you know. Look at all these guys. This isn't a very good trap. Like, it doesn't, it takes kind of long to kill them. This will be my chicken pit. I need to put, um, what are they called? Trap doors to get down and up. Because then I can just trigger them whenever I want. And then I can just make this thing bigger as I go, I guess. This is also where my mine is. For those of you that wonder, like, when, when where do you ever go when you mine? I go down here and then I go over here and... I pretty much cleared out like a lot of this stuff, but there's a big mine shaft and, and stuff here, uh, as you can see. Like, see, and it's a, it's a pretty good mine. Like, there's a lot of resources still in it, but I've I've cleaned out quite a quite a good chunk of it. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna um quickly dig back up here. This episode is is a lot more chill. Back, guys. I hope you don't mind. Um, 
sometimes I like to get on a little. I like to get a little up in your space. You know, I like to get a little personal with you guys. Just talk about some of the things that I gotta talk about, which right now is apparently nothing really. But you know. Okay, I'm gonna make. Uh, oh, those zombies are really annoying. I'm gonna make a bunch of these. Let's turn my sound down. I might actually. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna get rid of that trap. For the sole purpose that, really, why do I need that? I got the I got the best XP farm ever. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. Like you just do this, and then like that. So I can have these all down, and then like I can, boop, and then just do this to get out. And my chickens won't be able to get out, and they can all go down there. Now uh, they need some light. So, I don't want to leave them in the dark. I want to light them up. Nice. Lots of light for the chickens. Because, you know, we don't want anyone calling PETA on us. That'd be bad. Cruelty to animals and all that jazz. Treat your pets right. Treat yourself. Aw, oh, little chicken. Hello. Oh, you know what they need? They need some grass down there. It's only fair. Alright, well, we're going to put dirt down. And then I will change it to a wall, bring some, like, a grass block down here. Need more light. I, for some reason, I feel like it's just so dark down here. I don't know what it is. Okay, here we go. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, you know what? We're getting rid of that zombie spawner ASAP. It's, I don't need it. Well, I got the, I got the Enderman farm that, that, uh, Hypno made. Kudos to Hypno, by the way. That thing, you guys have seen it. It is ridiculous. We've we've talked about this before, and, and I know we you know we have, but those guys I don't understand how they come up with these things. Like they're a genius, you know. And then here's me, farting around with a little chicken pit. Uh, okay, you guys gotta get out of here. Like, yeah, one two, you two. I can name these guys through the the first two. You'll be little baby Charles. You'll be little baby Winston. I like that name. Come on, get out of here! Get out of the pit! You can't just sit in the stone pit all day. You gotta get- you gotta get- Come on, just play with Charles. Look, man, I'm not he- Ugh! Okay, we're just gonna leave him there. See, as soon as I do that, then, then there's no way for the chickens to get up. Then I'm set. Let's go kill this thing. I've had it with this. What am I doing? No, this is bad. Everyone's gonna be mad. Get out of here. Oh crap, they're all spawning. It is pretty good for getting like free uh, armor and stuff. Okay, here we go. This was a very basic mob trap. I just, I had to see it go because guys, it's just pissing me off. And I want to be able to do stuff down here, and the one reason I never came down in this area just because it was so damn annoying. It was just so annoying. The sounds. I have to kill all these off. There we go. Now we're done. Yeah, that's the one thing. Unlimited iron tools you get from having a good mob trap. But really, guys, like, I mean, I can get the resources. I can. And I can. I've got a skelly spawner as well. Uh, that's far away, so if I really need to go to a spawner in this area, I've got it. Um, and now I can kind of utilize this space and make this like a nice little cavey system where we got stuff going on. Oh, flipping this this retard right here hasn't left his pit yet. What was his name? What did I even name him? I named Charles, and then oh yeah, Winston. Winston's in the flipping pit. Ah, what a dummy. So, we're heading back to my mansion, the Matt Manor. That's what we're going to call it, Matt Manor. Heading back to Matt Manor. And we're going to get some grass. Get some grass. I want to do a little work off camera tonight. Because it's really boring work. Uh, of the tree farm for you guys. That'd be fun. I'll just bring, I'll just bring books. No, I didn't even need seven. Five. Yeah, I'll do some work at the tree farm off-camera, guys, and uh, I'll do that tonight. 
I've got a lot of stuff like going on. My life's been pretty hectic, as you noticed yesterday. I didn't upload. And I apologize. However, I always usually don't upload on Sundays, so you're getting this on Sunday, um, whereas you know normally you get videos on Saturday. So it's not a big deal. Like I'm just switching it up, but that's only because yesterday. Actually, my dad called me and he's like, yo, uh, I want you to come over and miss you. So I was like, dad, you know what? Family first. I'm coming over right now. Now you're both in the pit. You dummies. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, um, yeah, so my dad was like, hey, man, I miss your face. I was like, dad, couldn't agree more. Let's hang out. So I went over there. And then, uh, and then we, we, we went out to buy my phone because we were talking about it. I was like, Dad, I want to go get the, the iPhone. And he's like, hey, I'll take you. I was like, Dad, you're a good fella. And uh, that's kind of what happened. So I was busy. So, uh, you know, family first, guys. Hope you understand. But yeah, so I just switched it up. So the weekends are not going to be like no uploads on Sundays anymore. They're just going to be like one of the weekend days will be no uploads. I like to have one day where I don't have to worry about it, you know. But I love making videos for you guys. Holy crap, do I ever. Like, I seriously just love it. Alright, how are you guys? You good down there? You think I can lead all my chickens down here? Can they climb down ladders? Can they climb up ladders? I wonder. Well, let's go get... Let's go see. Let's go test. And if, if not, this is just going to be a, a chicken fiasco all over the place. Which is, uh, that would be bad if they escaped. But, we'll see. I don't think they're going to be able to fall down there, to be honest with you. They're going to have to make a hole and lead them all through it. Crap. Well, let's try with just one. See how it works. Get a couple of you out. Yeah, there we go. Come on. A few of you that escaped. Let's go. Yeah, chicky, chicky, chicky. It's just one of you. Look at you being an R-tard. Come on. Just come with me. I've got the wheat. There you go. There you go. Come here. Silly goose. Well, you're not a goose, but come on. Just come on. Yeah, up, there you go. Up the steps. There you go. <laughs> this little, little dummy. Okay, right in here. Go in the hole. Go in your hole. No, go in the hole. What if I go in the hole? Come on. Go in your hole. Uh. <laughs> go in your hole. Okay, guys. I need to make some bacon. That's enough of this. I'm going to have some breakfast, guys. It was lovely to see you, as always. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Uh, I will see you all with some more action-packed adventures tomorrow, and I'm going to do some work on that tree farm. I swear it, I will, and it's going to start turning out sexy, and I will show you that tomorrow. And the bridge. I'll fix the bridge, too. Probably not. Probably probably not anytime soon, because, come on, I got to do the tree farm. It's a priority. Everybody, have a great evening, great day, whatever, whatever it is. I love you guys. Bye. -bye.